Hello folks, we are on episode 5, Practice Makes Perfect, and honestly we've not got any Ahsoka since episode 1, so I wonder, so I wonder if perhaps we might get Anakin! Maybe it's this episode, fair enough. <laughs> All right, more Ahsoka, here we go. Obi-Wan! Why did I just call him Obi-Wan? I was so excited, I'll be honest with you. Obi-Wan. She's a fast learner. Nice. We're getting her in her pre-Padawan phase. These are the new training remotes, designed to simulate battle droids. Wow, they're really just training younglings to fight battle droids. How twisted, that's really twisted. I've always said Ahsoka is like a real outlier. Right, she absolutely is. She's very, very competent, and you could probably put some of that down to, like, you know, Anakin being her master. But the way that she's used, you know, if you go back all the way back to the beginning of the Clone Wars, she is a Padawan. She shouldn't be in, like, a war. She shouldn't. She shouldn't have been in those situations. She absolutely shouldn't. And the fact that they're, like, training, you know, they're younglings, they're young Jedi, that's... That tells you a lot about the Jedi right there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Impressing the little ones, I like it. Impressive. <sighs> yeah, no, because he's got his mullet, so surely before the Clone Wars. So they're not, uh, she's not apprenticed yet. Thanks for coming, Master. Okay, no, she is. Any thoughts? You don't want to know. Rude. Did Obi-Wan have that mullet in the Clone Wars animated series? I don't know if he did. Maybe it's just the new uh, animated style, because it was older. It's a lousy test. But it's what every Jedi does. Exactly. Mmm. Is this Anakin? Do you want a real test? Anakin not agreeing with the way the Jedi do things. Very interesting. Name it. Okay, I'll make you an actual test. And then we'll see what you really learned. Yeah, I mean, you know, she's absolutely molded by him. <laughs> okay, cool. Taking a little bit of a break from Dooku. Fair enough. Captain Rex and the boys have agreed to help with the test. Droids are predictable. I want you to be prepared for anything. Fair. I mean, hey, he's just looking out for her. Feel the intention of the trooper who will fire first. You should be able to sense the moment before they even pull the trigger. Yeah, it's so interesting, isn't it? Because, like, when you think about it, actually, this is the thing. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. Yeah, because there was a whole host of Jedi, a whole generation of Jedi that were raised, I guess, in the Clone War and were only taught to fight droids and weren't taught to predict because you, you can obviously, a Jedi, you know, have extra reflexes. They can sense the feelings of those around them, which absolutely gives them uh, an advantage with, like, you know, troopers, for example. But yeah, when you think about it, I guess there was a whole generation of Jedi that weren't taught to necessarily train to fight against that, right? Which I guess kind of makes sense that the troopers so easily took the Jedi in the end, in the Jedi Temple. And if, because they weren't trained for that, they were trained for droids. And I guess explains almost why Ahsoka survived, because of this. Okay. That's so interesting. Seceding how she survived Ready. and why she's so good. And how influential Anakin was on her too, in his training. Oh, I love the splash effect of the stun. I don't think we've seen that before. Is that new? How long was I out? An hour. An hour? <laughs> Jesse really tagged you. Sorry, Commander! <laughs> Come on. Wow, they were really just waiting for an hour. Bit creepy, admittedly. You ready? Ow, instantly. Yeah, and this highlights how different it is fighting a real person. Let's go again. A living thinking being as opposed to a droid and how different it just it just is. Wow, he really put her through her, her paces, huh? Damn. I love how it's kind of going to pains to show why she's so good. Again. So well trained. Because he went, he did this. That's so cool. Because if you go back and watch Clone Wars, she's so good. She's so, so good for where she is and the age that she's at. And this goes somewhere yeah. to seeing that and explaining it. I love that. I don't know how much more of this she can take. She'll be fine. <laughs> Anakin. Anakin. Yeah, she'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Well, you're waking up faster. Wow. This is ridiculous. Droids aren't half as good as Rex's men. That's exactly. the point. Yeah. Look, I know this is tough, but... I want it to be difficult. This. Yeah, he's just scared. Life and death. Yeah, he doesn't want us to die. I'm responsible for you. Hmm. The way I can protect you is to teach you how to protect yourself. And this is brash and unorthodox, which is absolutely Anakin, right? But it's effective, which is also Anakin. If you can hold off Rex and the boys, you'll be ready for anything on the battlefield. There you go. Well, foreshadowing. Big foreshadow. Let's go again. Yeah, this is so cool, man. <laughs> You got it, mate. You got it. This makes so much more of what we've seen in Clone Wars and where she goes and how she gets out of stuff 
so much more, more realistic and it informs so much more the things that we know about her. Yeah, and that's absolutely, I mean, the episode is called Practice Makes Perfect, right? That's absolutely the function of this episode. It took us five minutes to knock you out that time. <laughs> I can do better. She's got a different outfit on. Yeah, he puts his helmet on, you see the, the marks. Yeah, she's got two lightsabers. Oh, amazing. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, and it's going so far. And wow, like you think you think that she's got, you know, to five minutes in one session. And then it's like, nope, this is a lot longer in the future. She's got an outfit change. She's got her extra lightsaber. You know, uh, Rex has got, you know, marks on his helmet. So a long time has passed and she's still only making it five minutes. And this is so, this is why she's so good. That's so cool. Because obviously, you know, you see her growing up through the Clone Wars and, and she is a little bit too good, right? She is. I feel like there's arguments to be made that she, you know, she's put through a lot more than a lot of people, but she also uh, surmounts and um, gets over a lot more hurdles than uh, a lot of uh, Padawans, a lot of people her age in the Jedi Order would. A lot of other apprentices would just die. They just would. And this just explains, and the way that there, there was that time skip, and it, you know, it's taken that long for her to survive five minutes, right? And this progression of her ability and her martial prowess, and how she just does get to a place where she's one of probably the best uh, martial fighters. But she holds her own and uh, essentially beats, well, she does, she beats Darth Maul. And he's supposed to be one of the best fighters at the time in, that, in the universe, right, as well. So... This just goes, I love what this is doing for her character and just exp explaining why, you know, it's a little thing, but it, it means a lot. Yeah, wow. And he really just trained her so well. I mean, he essentially assured that she survived Order 66. He assured that she survived everything and is the survivor that she one day becomes. Oh, wow, are we after Order 66 now? Let's hope all that training pays off. Yeah. Yeah. This is when they're trying to get out. Wow. Wow, no way. Oh my god. This episode, it's like one of the shortest episodes. It's like 12 minutes. That's amazing. That's so good. Sorry, maybe I'm just easily impressed. It's f over. That was 10 minutes. 10 minutes of Star Wars. 10 minutes of an episode. But it did so, so much. I'm not going to retread what I said because I think, you know, I, I kind of talked a lot about it. But the way that it showed the progression and then it ends with that. And even then, you know, like if, if I look back on the Clone Wars and that moment in the Clone Wars in the, you know, the final season, you think that she's absolutely... The, almost not not a master but she i mean to a certain extent she's she's very competent you know she's very masterful in the way that she you know wields her lightsabers and and, and it's like this gives just extra um context to that moment in that you know it's not necessarily assured that she will survive that right you know rex is saying to her let's hope that training paid off mate you know what I mean? Like as the audience when you're watching the clone wars you're you're so assured that she'll survive you just are but like this shows that she never was assured to survive all that. She was just very good and she trained and she got there. And this was essentially her, you know, training montage, <laughs> essentially. I love that so much. Wow, damn. All right, let's end it there. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you as always to my patrons, you lovely people who support me with your real life money. That is uh, insane. So uh, thank you to you guys. Um, thank you to everyone else who joined. Um, if you're not subscribed, hey man, scroll down, subscribe, why not, hey. I'd like you to do it. Why wouldn't you do it? I don't know, mate. You've got to ask yourselves these questions. Just look inwards. You know what I mean? If the little voice in your head says no, just uh, override it. Override it. Embrace the dark side, mate. Say yes. Say yes. All right, we're getting weird now. So I'll end the video there. Thank you again, and I'll see you soon.